you to stretch forth your hand, hands and pray that the Lord will use me for his glory that I will not speak of myself but of everything that God himself wants me to say that anything he wants me to say that is what I'll say what he doesn't want me to say I won't say it in Jesus name Father use me to glorify yourself fill me totally Anything that is not of you, take it away and use me to glorify yourself. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Um, please let us open our Bibles to Philippians chapter 3 verse 19. Philippians 3 verse 19. Hallelujah. The Bible says they are going to end up in hell because their God is their bodily desires. They are proud of what they should be ashamed of. And they think only of things that belong to this world. I'm reading from the Good News Version. They are going to end up in hell because their God is their bodily desires. They are proud of what they should be ashamed of. And they think only of things that belong to this world. Hallelujah. Other version also says their God is their belly. Amen. This evening, the word of God is telling us that he is saying that day and the day there represents some group of people and he's saying that they are going to end up in hell and I'm asking who are these people but he made something clear here that those who end up in hell have made their bodily desires, their God. Hallelujah. And if we look at the world now, there are lots of things that are going on. The bodily desires can mean so many things. It can mean things that, things of the flesh, hallelujah. Things that makes the flesh comfortable. And these things can be in a form of money, clothes, cars, houses, like all the things that the flesh wants. Hallelujah. But the Bible is saying that they will end up in hell because they've made these things their God. And the Bible also tells us that we should seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Hallelujah. And all these things shall be added unto us. And these things that the Bible is talking about is the things that these people in here are making what they are God. Instead of seeking the God that created the heavens and the earth, they've rather decided to make these things that God says if we seek him, he's going to give to us. They've rather decided to make those things their God. Hallelujah. And sometimes we, those things become our gods without even us recognizing it. We think that it may come in a way that we will see it physically. Or someone will say, oh, this one that I can know that is the devil that is bringing it my way. 
But I remember that some time ago, our daddy was teaching, preaching, and he says, we cry for husband, we cry for wife, and when the Lord gives give us the husband and the wife, then now your husband become your God or your wife become your God. You no more come into the church to do what you are supposed to do for God. You rather stay at home and you spend time with your husband whilst the work of God is lacking. Hallelujah. That is what the Bible is telling us, that these people are going to end up in hell. Those who have made the things that God says, if we seek him, he will give to us. The Bible says what? They will end up in hell. Because they've decided to seek after those things instead of God. Hallelujah. And it says what? They are proud of what they should be ashamed of. They are proud of what they should be ashamed of. And they only think of things that belong to this world. Hmm. This is it's not easy. Hallelujah. Because many a times we take up the, the journey of the kingdom, like taking up, picking up our cross and following Jesus. But when it gets somewhere, we see that things become so difficult. It becomes so tough that we begin to look, turn our heads and look elsewhere. The word says they only think of things that belong to this world. Beloved, is something distracting you from the work of God? Or is something distracting you from what Jesus Christ has asked you to do? Or your salvation, is something distracting you from that thing? Because the Bible says if you don't take care, you end up in hell. Hallelujah. Many a times, people boast of things that we as children of God we see those things not to be necessary someone will say oh me I have five wives or ten wives or you know they boast of it I have 15 children or 20 children from different women and they are proud of that thing that they are supposed to be ashamed of but they think that because they've done it they've achieved something. But the Bible says you end up in hell. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want us this evening to go deep down our hearts and really think and search that thing that is taking the place of God in our lives. Because it's very painful that you would be in the house of God and you'll be serving God and you will not enjoy what the worldly people are enjoying. But secretly, something is becoming your God and you are not noticing it. And at the end of the day, you will not make heaven and it's very painful. Hallelujah. It is very painful. So I want to ask this evening to go deep down in our heart and search that thing that wants to take the place of God in our heart. It can be anything. Sometimes those, those things can creep into your heart without you realizing it. But I tell you that when you sit down and you ask the Holy Spirit to help you, you begin to open up certain things to you. As you sit down, you begin to realize that there are things that has crept in into your life without you noticing it. Because the enemy is not happy that we are going to make heaven. He's not happy that we said we want to be with Christ. He's not happy that we've decided to choose the light. He will do everything possible to try to move us out of the journey that God is taking us. So we as children of God must begin to look at certain things which can take us out of the will of God or can take us out of that journey. 
Because if we don't take care, what the word is saying here will come to pass. Hallelujah. So I want us this evening to go before our maker, to go before the spirit of God and tell him that anything that is trying to take the place of God in our lives, however it may seem, it can be our family, our wives, our husbands, our friends, it can be money, your job, it can be anything, it can be your phone, it can be anything that is taking the, the, the position that you were supposed to give to God. I want you to speak to the Holy Spirit to reveal that thing to you, to, to open up that thing to you, so that he himself in his power will help you to do away with those things. Pray and ask God to reveal it unto you. Pray and ask him to open it up unto you. Because it will be so painful to, for you to stay in the house of God and at the end of the day you will not make heaven. Without you not knowing what took God's place in your heart. unto us, O oh God, anything that is taking your place in our lives, in our hearts. Father, in your power, help us overcome it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, O come, ye man, O Shara song, you That mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appears. Rejoice, rejoice.
there's a way of escape. And that way of escape from damnation is in Jesus Christ. Everyone that partakes of his flesh and his blood, the Bible says, shall not be condemned. That means you are trusting in him. When he first mentioned, you will eat my flesh and drink my blood, it was something that they have never heard before, and many left him. The Bible says they all left him apart from the 12 disciples. Tonight, we are not eating these because it's a ritual or it's what we used to do. It's only those that are trusting in Jesus Christ to give them the grace to overcome the flesh in this world. We are taking it because we trust him for grace every day. greatest comforting word Emmanuel God with us God with us God with us what a comforting word God with us I want everyone that is trusting God for life after life after death we are eating this because we trust him to keep us As many as do not understand what I'm saying. That's how many left him because they didn't understand what he said. You can come to him even this moment. Asking him to have mercy upon you. And ask him to reveal himself to you. If you are here tonight, you are not saved. Please ask Jesus to have mercy. Tell him you want to know him. Tell him you want to live in him. As many are here that have not obeyed his will, that has gone contrary to his word, return to him now, ask for mercy this morning. Say sorry, Father. We are sorry. In every way, we are falling short of His glory. In every way, we have gone our own way. In every way, we have gone to the ways of the flesh. We have obeyed our flesh. We have obeyed against God. We have obeyed. Ta 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 
Let's start the song.